Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. This is the third of the fifth, two thousand eleven, which is the third of May. For those of you who don't know the proper way to measure the calendar, but nonetheless, um, uh, I was confirmed yesterday. Not that I give a shit, but Osama bin ha- um, um, whatever his name is, Osama bin Laden, shot the face dead. I really couldn't give a shit. Uh, my only wish was that it was actually. I I really hoped that when they actually got him, that. He would probably be killed by the British or the Australians or the New Zealanders or the Pakistanis or whoever else is there because it's fucking ridiculous. I don't care and I don't want to try and offend any American, but fuck Jesus, just who cares? If anything, this is probably the worst thing that could happen because now in the eyes of their stupidity, he's now a martyr and he's God and all this kind of shit. And now they're pr- the people are going to be so pissed off that you killed him and now he's gonna they're going to do shit. I don't really give a fuck. It doesn't affect me. I don't care. Um, but it's good to know that all the Americans I have on Twitter and Facebook and on the internet that I've read, that it's good to know that you should know that you spent probably the past 30 years trying to get him. And No, sorry, I, sh- I, I should rephrase that. You've known about him and his presence and what he does for the past 30 years. And the CIA actually trained him. But nonetheless, that's not important. We don't want to talk about that because no one gives a fuck. So um, let's talk about what I've been doing. Um, I've been playing Fallout New Vegas again through, uh, this is the third time I think. It, advice to anyone that plays Fallout New Vegas for the first time, don't rush it. I rushed the first two, and that's why I hated it, because the storyline and the story arc and the way it went around, it pissed me off so much. But now I'm finding more stuff, I'm doing a lot more things, so don't do what I did, don't rush it. Now have a good time, because I, I rushed it so I could get a feel of the story, and then I could go back and play it the way I want it. And, of course, Call of Duty came out, and, and all these other games came out, and I really couldn't be bothered with it, so I'm playing it again now. Uh, PSN is still not up. Uh, not that I care, I know I'm hardly ever on there anyway, but it's a thing of principle. Um, and uh, what else can we talk about? This is going to be a depressing episode. Um, um, what was I going to talk Oh, the Call of Duty map pack. Uh, the Call of Duty map pack comes out tonight, probably at about 10 o'clock, for those of you in Australia. Um, I, did, I, I, I probably will get it, because the zombies actually looks fun gameplay-wise, but they took out the most important thing of zombies and replaced it with C-grade movie actors. Um, the characters, I thought, in the uh, when they first introduced them in... Was it Shino Numa they first came in? Yeah, it was Shino Numa they first came in. Um, I really like the characters, and then they were got better and better and better and better and better, and now they've replaced them with C-grade movie actors. I don't give a shit, I don't care, so the only reason I'll probably get it is for the gameplay, which actually looks pretty fun. Um, apparently there's a big emphasis on sniping now, I don't know why anyone would want to do that in zombies, because the sniper rifles are, are ten times, a tenfold worse than all the other guns. Um, but, eh, it looks alright. You know, I'm not keen to play as that Mexican guy or that Freddy guy or this Buffy the Vampire. Why do they have the Vampire Slayer? Vampires are completely different from zombies. I don't fucking know. Um, so I really don't give a shit about that. The only reason why people would does do buy the do buy the map packs is for the zombies. Who gives a shit about the extra maps that you get that were all put in the game? Uh, they were all supposed to be put in the game, and then they got cut and thought, "Fuck it, we'll just add it to DLC to make it shorter, uh, shorter build time." Um, uh, if you do get it, I think it's 1,200 points. I mean, people bitch about the 1,200 points. I mean, fuck. What difference does it make? You have to buy, like, 1,000 points, or you have to buy 1,500 or 1,600 or whatever to get the 800 point. Who fucking cares? It's just shut up. Just buy it. It's I'm over it. If you have to pay more, then pay more. If you, if, I mean, if it's that big of a problem for you, don't fucking buy it. You know, it's not hard. Just shut up. It's ridiculous. Oh, this fucking ripper, you're going to pay this much money? Shut up, all right? Fuck off. If you don't want to pay it, don't pay it. There you go. Um, so, that's that's happening. Uh, what else? Uh, Dragon Age 2, I haven't even put back in the disc tray. I've got to fucking play that. Mortal Kombat, I still haven't put in the disc tray because I've been busy, but I'm probably going to play that after this. Um, sorry, I'm going to watch internet videos of people playing Mortal Kombat because I haven't got the game, obviously. It was just a joke. Um, oh yeah, you can't see me winking. It's like that, it's like that Simpsons moment. Um, and fuck, there's really nothing that I really wanted. Uh, what can I talk about real quick? Think of something, think of something, think of something. Oh, E3 predictions. Okay. E3 is in June. I have no idea what date it is. I think it's early June, probably from the, between the 10th and the 15th, or the 5th and the 15th, I would guess. 
Um, and everyone likes to put what company will do better in terms of one, two, three. You've got your Microsoft, your Sony, and your Nintendo. And I'm predicting it that Nintendo will win E3, Sony will follow, and Microsoft will come last. Uh, last year, I think... Uh, what did I predict last year? Um, I predicted last year that Microsoft would come first, then Sony, and then Nintendo. And I, I think I was pretty much right. I think that Sony and Nintendo had a pretty weak E3 last year. I mean, Sony's big thing was at, at that... Fuck, what is it? Um... Um, that sh- twisted metal game that looks like it's fucking built for PlayStation 2. Um, and, uh, what else did they have that was big? The move that no one really gives a shit about. Microsoft had the Kinect going for the whole fucking thing, which is boring as fuck. And I didn't even watch Nintendo, but I'll watch Nintendo this year. Um, because you got to get up at like 4 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning here to watch it on game trailers. The live stream, and I don't really want to watch a replay, I want to watch it live, so I get up, or I stay up, either one, whatever comes first. So I will be watching three of them, hopefully they don't do a Konami one, and an Activision one, because fucking, how bad was a Konami one? If you don't believe me, look up the Konami one on YouTube, and just watch. I think there's like a montage of how bad it was. Same with, same with Ubisoft, I think they should just stick to the main faction ones. Um, the big ones, the big names, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo... Um, and game-wise at E3, what I want to see, I want to see some, I want to see some Saints Row 3, Saint, sorry, Saints Row the 3rd, uh, that would probably be first, and I want to see some, uh, Call of Duty, see what they're doing with that, how they're going to put it in the ground, then I want to see some gameplay for Skyrim to see if, because if it plays like, the only reason that I would pick up Skyrim is if it plays like Oblivion and Fallout. If it doesn't play like that, then I'm not going to pick it up, simply because I don't care. You know, I like games that play like Fallout and Oblivion, hence why I like them, but Oblivion, the story, mate, just fucking my brain. I, those kind of games, um, Dragon Age 1 to a certain extent, but Dragon Age 2 is a lot more easy to follow. Anything that involves, like, those mythical RPG shit, it it just does not click, ever. And I just cannot fathom what is going on. It takes a while, but I get it in the end. And then you got to read all these codex pages and all this shit. I, fuck, I couldn't be bothered. I I really couldn't. But I did, I did really like Oblivion. I got it, I I didn't plan on buying it. I got it in a double pack with uh, Bioshock, which I didn't like. Bioshock 2, I think, was the better one. Um, Infinite looks pretty good. So that's what I want to see at E3. Saints Row the Third, Call of Duty, Skyrim, um, and that'll be about it. There's really not that much I care about this year. Um, no, no, I really don't care. Interested to see if there are any going to be any good exclusives. I think exclusives are dead, to be honest. There's just no money in it. Um, and the, the sooner the Xbox, well, the Xbox has kind of caught on um, by adding an extra gig. Uh, but, oh, apparently Grand Theft Auto Five is going to be announced. That'll be good. Um, and people saying, oh, it's just going to be on the PlayStation because the disc can hold more. All right, lesson number one. Is it that big of a problem to have, like, two discs, like Mass Effect 2? Is it that big of a problem to switch discs? No, of course not. PC, PC has done it for years, or did do it for years. I don't know about now because I don't play it. Um, did double discs, four discs, six discs for years. Get over it. Shut up. Um, I don't want to put two discs in. Shut the fuck up and put two discs in and stop being a little bitch. Um, and people have this mentality, and if you don't believe me, you can search. There's a competition video, and there's like 20 videos. What's better between the Xbox and the PlayStation? And while the PlayStation... This is, this is pretty much why games are multi-platform and generally better on the Xbox 360 than they are on the PS3. PlayStation 3 has the better hardware, all right? But the Xbox uses the hardware better than the PlayStation uses the hardware, if that makes sense. There's a video on it. Go and check it out. It'll do a bit much better job describing it as I can. But that's a that's pretty much the shortest summary you can give. The PlayStation's got the better hardware, but the Xbox uses the hardware better than the PlayStation because, you fuck, you know, just go on YouTube. It. Um, so I think we'll call it a day there. Um, uh, I really haven't got anything to talk about. I really don't care about anything at the moment. I'm probably going to go after this. Oh, I've been playing NBA 2K11. That's pretty fun. Um, but like any sports game, it does get really repetitive after a while. Um, so I'm going to go right now and play some Fallout New Vegas. Um, I just bankrupted all the casinos the other night. That's pretty cool. I didn't bankrupt them, but I took. I got to the point where you get booted out, so I'm not allowed to gamble anymore, which sucks. So I'm, what ones am I banned from? All the ones in New Vegas... 
all the ones in the strip and all the casinos outside, like the the the, the Gamora. Is it? No, it's not the Gamora. Wait, I've got the poker chips. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what's this one for? The Atomic Wrangler. That's the one. Uh, the Atomic Wrangler. So I got the poker chips. What? One dollar, five dollars. Ultra Lux, the tops, Silver Rush. Silver Rush, where's that? That doesn't ring a bell. The Atomic, what's the Bison one? Bison Steve, I think. Bison Steve, I can't remember. Uh, so I'm going to have to go on the Fallout wiki. If you're a big Fallout player, go and check out the Fallout wiki. Honestly, it's fucking amazing. Um, same with the Call of Duty wiki too. That's really good. Um, so that's it. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Have a good one. Rate, kind of subscribe. Au revoir.